We're coming up on three years now since the last time anyone saw Chadwick Carr. The 32-year-old was seen near the Anderson County, Roan County line May 1st, 2021, the day before he disappeared. Since then, we've seen year after year how those who care about him work to keep Carr's name and picture in front of the public, hoping someone will share what happened. WATE 6 on your side reporter Ella Wales talked with his family who isn't giving up hope. Bo, Lori, this Thursday will mark three years since Carr was reported missing. For his family, every day is a waiting game, waiting for answers that still haven't come. This is where Chadwick Carr was last seen, the foundation house on Dutch Valley Road in Anderson County. That was May 1st, 2021. It is still a tough pill to swallow. Um, is one of those moments where here we are again and nothing has changed. Carr's sister Whitney Williams says he was living at the foundation house doing a recovery program at the time of his disappearance. There's been little to no updates in his case in years. It was a dead end two weeks after he went missing, which was three years ago. So we've hit a dead end since then and this nothing has changed since. Carr talked to his sister on the phone the night of May 1st. She says she heard him start to talk to someone else before the call ended. He didn't answer her call back. The next day, he didn't show up for work. It's an empty feeling. It's a void, you know, it's a void there that just can't be filled until we find him. Carr left behind his wallet, keys, van, phone, and a single flip-flop in the yard. His mom, Krista Carr, says despite the lack of progress, the family hasn't given up. Chad keeps you going. His spirit, you know, I keep that alive. You know, and hoping that he'll walk through this door or I'll get a phone call saying it's him or law enforcement will bring him to me. Just anything. According to his family, Carr had turned his life around at the time of his disappearance. He was working a new job and had saved up to buy his van. Three years gone with no clues, but they're convinced someone knows something. Anything you could think of that might not be a big issue it might be the, is the, the key that we need to break this thing open just to get the closure that we have been asking for now going on three years. If anyone has any information that could help investigators, reports can be made to the Anderson County Dispatch at 865-457-2414. All right, Ella. Carr, by the way, was living in Anderson County at the time of his disappearance. But he was also known to spend time here in Knoxville. We should also note Carr was originally from Blount County.